What's up, family? It's your fellow alopecia princess, Action Jacqueline. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of my show. Okay, so I just wanted to come in real quick and um, tell you guys some of my plans for the future. Um, I don't normally do this. I generally do not tell anybody my plans um, for fear that, you know, I'll just sound like I'm talking. You know what I mean? People... You know they have all these ideas they talk about them and then they never see them through and you know I don't want to be guilty of that and I never want people to look at me and say I'm flaky so I don't talk about my pe my my oh my god why do I talk so freaking much all right anyway so I've decided I'm gonna tell you guys anyway I just spit on myself I've just decided that I'm gonna tell you guys anyway because um maybe it will actually help me um, follow my plans through. It's really easy to um, let your dreams fall to the wayside because life gets in the way, you know what I'm saying? And my life is really busy, so life could easily get in the way. So I don't want that to happen. I really do want to see my um, dreams and plans uh, come, in, come to fruition. So here I am, I'm gonna tell you what I wanna do with my life. All right, first thing I wanna do is free up some time. So you guys know that um, I'm on this hypergamous journey, although I'm already married for 17 years. And the reason why I'm on this journey now to hypergamy is because my husband, uh, over the last, mm, I'll say eight years, eight, seven or eight years, has um, his income level has changed. You know, we went from being um, pretty, some people might even say that, you know, there was 10 years ago, we were like poor, you know what I mean? Um, we were both in school, uh, my husband hadn't started his career yet, um, we had children and then you know we were on the verge of taking in some more children my sister's kids so you know I don't know if you want to call it poor because that's probably the right not the right word because we always had food on the table you know what I mean uh, but it wasn't always the best food you know what I'm saying there weren't times where it, dinner was ramen noodles and sardines you know what I'm saying so mm, I don't know if I never felt poor but when I compare it and I look like when I go through my tax returns now I'm like damn how did we survive on that kind of money when my husband and I first got married um, I earned more than he he did and um, let me just explain what that means I made $14 an hour and he made 12 so you you think about how you create a whole lifestyle for yourself on that kind of money all right but anyway, so my husband has, um, um, you know, over the past few years, his income level has increased and, um, you know, he kind of, he's doing much better and um, he's not exactly used to, you know, uh, being this person who has that kind of money and he's still, you know, at the same time, he's still paying off a lot of debt that we incurred during the time that he was making $12 and I was making $14. So, you know, for a long time, we have been trying to pay down that debt because a lot of debt did um, incur. So, um, you know, now we're at a point where we can kind of relax, uh, but it's something that has to be fixed in your head. You know what I'm saying? When you have certain money, you have to like fix it in your head to know it's a that you're not going to spend it all in one place and b to say is it okay for me to like live better like is it okay for me to to have a maid to have somebody come over and clean the house every now and then is it okay to spend this money you know uh, get a nicer car like to get a luxury car is that okay like we haven't exactly gotten to that place where we know for sure that it's okay to do that but I feel like it's just about time. <laughs> And I could be wrong, I might be a little bit too early, but I feel like we are about there, you know what I'm saying? Like we can start living a little better. We can get some, you know, maid service from time to time. Um, and I think, and even my husband, okay, so that was the one. So when I said I wanted to free up time, what I actually meant was I would like to um, free up time 
so that I wouldn't have to, you know, spend a lot of time doing this, my, my job. Not to say I don't like working, I do love working, but I wanna pursue my dreams. So when we first got married, um, I had, I was finishing up my, my two year degree. So I have a two year degree, I have a four year degree. And my two year degree was in fashion design. And I really, really wanted to pursue fashion design, but I didn't know how to do that and have a family because at the same time I was having kids and I have a certain way that I feel like children should be raised. And I didn't know how to do that while simultaneously you know, starting a career in fashion, which often means uh, 14 hour work days. I did work in fashion for a little while and it was definitely 14 hour work days and often on the weekends as well. And I didn't know how to be the kind of money, mother that I believe that, that I wanted to be and do that. So I was trying to get a job part-time in fashion, which pretty much is non-existent. Like you don't work part-time. There's enough people out in the world trying to be fashion designers who will not let you get a job working uh, part-time because they are more than happy to be full-time employed at a fashion house. So that's just not a thing. So I tried and tried doing that and I just couldn't do it. And I tried, I remember at one point I had tried to start a fashion line. I had a fashion line that was called Jada Nikki. Um, Jadaneki Couture and Jadaneki Sportswear and um, you know I pushed for that for a good little while and it was doing really well I would have done better but you know I didn't really like to sew <laughs> so I don't know how you're a fashion designer who doesn't like to sew but I do know how you're a fashion designer who doesn't like to sew you just design and you get somebody else to do the sewing but at $12 an hour who has money to spend to have somebody else sew for you right so that wasn't the thing either anyway I had to give that up I had to give that dream up and I started working in healthcare and um, at a lab, and I've been doing that ever since. And honestly, there's no passion for me in there, you know, really is it? It's lab, oper lab operations. I hope my boss isn't watching. I want her to know that I'm very happy with my job. It's just there's no passion there, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, um, oh, excuse me. My coffee came out right today. I hate it when it's too sweet, and I think I've been oversweetening it lately. So I've never, I haven't even been finishing it. But today I think I'm finishing my coffee. Anyway, my husband offered to let me stop working, but I'm really afraid to. Like, I don't even know what that's like to stop working. Like, it's scary for me to do that. And I, I want to know that I can. I just want to know I can. I had, there was a little short period of time when we were first married when we had barely any money. When I was not working, and I remember uh, having to ask, I'm not even kidding, for ketchup money. I remember having, asking my husband one day, oh, um, you're going to work before you leave. Can you leave $20? Because, you know, I want to do some food shopping. Because that's what, that's what food shopping was back then. It was $20, get what you can. Buy some canned sausages and some tomatoes and make a nice breakfast. You know, that was shopping. So I asked him, can you, you know, give me $20? So, um, so he left me the $20. I bought whatever I could have bought with 20 bucks. And then um, I wanted to buy some panties. So I bought a few panties from like the discount store. And that was it, like my money was all done. I'd spent all my $20. And the next, like two days later, he was on his way to school or something. And I was like, oh, um, I need a few dollars also because um, I have, I, I didn't even tell my wife. I was just like, oh, can you leave a few dollars? I have to, you know, run and do something. And the kids were already, the kids were born. They were little, tiny things. And um, it was really hard. It was just really hard for him, hard for me. It was hard for everyone. So um, he's like, what do you need money for? I just gave you money the other day. And I said, I need money to buy some ketchup. And he's like, oh, didn't you go food shopping? And I'm like, you gave me money. Like, it was so hard. It was so hard. Like, I don't know what it's like to not work. And every time I think about not working, I think about that time. And I know it's not like that anymore, but I just, like I said earlier in this video, you have to like fix it in your head to say it's okay now to start like living better. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I want my husband to give me license and he has, he's actually said to me, Jackie, stop working. Cause I need you to stay home and take care of me, you know? And I'm like, well, that's nice, but 
we want to take care of the kids. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, he's back. I don't want him to know. He's <laughs>